hello ladies and gentlemen welcome once again welcome uh, to this channel okay uh, for those of you who doesn't know me my name is mark and i'm a clinical laboratory scientist in new york living in new york okay so today i'm going to tell you or to pass your asap board certification i'm gonna give you some tips some trick you know some knowledge or to do that okay like you can see I'm driving to work I'm trying to make those video whenever I have a chance uh, and so that you know you can have those information I'm uh, very busy uh, you know doing different things but yeah making those video is a must for me so you I'm asking you to forgive me if you see uh, the videos are shaking or anything like that. It's because I'm holding the camera uh, and driving at the same time. Okay, let's get to it. Now, a lot of you taking clinical laboratory scientist uh, classes, and I believe most of you will want to uh, be a licensed professional. In order to do that, you need to take a board certification and uh, in, uh, in order to become a clinical laboratory scientist with the license. Now, if you want to know uh, why you should take a license, if you can work without the license, you can check my other video uh, with the title, or to become a clinical laboratory scientist, or pathway to become a clinical laboratory scientist. I explain uh, or to become one and uh, if you need a, a license or not you can check uh, those other videos now let's get to it so taking the board certification could be very challenge actually I took my exam twice and I know a lot of you take this exam a couple of times before you can knock it out and if I knew what I know now probably uh, wouldn't have to take it a couple of times so I'm going to tell you or to take this exam and knock it out in one shot so first thing you will need to do you will need to know the basic. Don't tell me you are a clinical laboratory scientist and do not know the basic knowledge. You have to have basic knowledge there. Trust me, there's some questions in, uh, in the board. You will not know where they come from. You don't know where they take them. I be, I'm telling you, I, I find some questions. I don't even see them in books. Okay, so this can happen to you. You can go then and think you're gonna knock it out and then next thing you know and they keep giving you a bunch of questions you've never seen in your life and I do not want that to happen to you because it happened to me so first thing you need to know you need to do you will have to know the basic when I'm what I mean by basic I mean things you supposed to know not tricky but things you supposed to know as a clinical laboratory. Like simple example. Let me make it. Let, let me give you a simple example. Right? Simple. So what I mean, what I mean by basic. Basic mean if you go to the exam, they ask you to calculate MCV, MCH, MCHC. You should know how to do that. This is basic hematology question know that about it don't tell me you cannot calculate mch mcv mchc simple calculation so that's what i mean by basic okay uh, you should know the rules of three what i mean by that i mean three times in marocrit three times rbc plus or minus three equal the hemoglobin three times the hemoglobin plus or minus three should equal the value of the marocrit that's the rule of three so you should know the basic you should know why this rule might be violated okay basic 
when I'm in basic basic don't go to this exam without knowing doors and a lot of other questions in chemistry you know iron profile you shouldn't go iron profile because they're gonna give you a lot of iron deficiency I name your question so you should match your iron profile with hematology question when a patient has uh, you know microcytic uh, you know uh, hypochromic uh, you know stuff you know result I mean result you know match with your your chemistry profile because the way they're gonna give equation they're gonna give you numbers okay that's the way the question comes out low hemoglobin hypochromic patient microcytic patient with a low with the iron profile the iron deficiency and most of you will see they're gonna give you those numbers so you have to figure it out based on those numbers what the, what the answer will be so i'm calling those basic because they're not complicated now when it comes to a bunch alpha thalassemia a bunch of uh other hard question then you'll know the hard question you know all, all of those stuff you know which patient will develop uh, you know Philadelphia chromosome you know you will know those hard questions you should you probably know them by studying in the book but I'm telling you basic should know the basic you know okay now after you studying the basic now you know all those basic then you go to the exam what you need to do right they're going to give you a pencil or a marker with a piece of uh, I think a board a small board so you can write stuff down right okay the exam they call it I think adaptive adaptive exam something like that okay so it's, the exam is set up in a way that while you answering question right, okay. So let's say you have uh, those question and you keep answering them right. As you answer the question correctly, they giving you harder question. Like say, so you give you first question, you answer it right, you get the next one harder. You answer it right, you get the next one harder. You get you answer it right, you get the next one harder. As you answer those questions right, they're making it harder for you. Because of that, you need to prepare basic and trick the system. The way you're going to trick the system with the board that they give you and the pencil, I think the marker, they give you a marker and a board. When they give you a first question, right, let's say you know the answer. You look at the first question, I know it. Okay, you know the answer you go to your board you put the answer right in the board and answer it wrong in the computer you put the answer right in the board they say uh, a is the answer you put a in your board and you answer any other any you put any other thing on the on the computer you want to you put a c something like that and you click next let's say the next question you know it again they give it to you know it and you do the same thing you answer the next question on your board you put it correct it's a question number two the correct answer is C and then you answer it wrong in the computer what you're trying to do is you're trying to tell the computer that you're stupid you silly you don't know what you're doing and the computer keep giving you easy questions you want the easy questions because you know all your basics you know stuff you're supposed to know basically probably no hard question too but you try to tell the computer to give you something that you know by doing this the computer keep giving you easy question instead of going to all of those hard questions you don't even know where they come from you keep answer those questions right on your board and answer them on the computer and click next now once you get to the 99 question and then about to hit 100 questions you want to say 100 questions right now you go back remember do not click finish because if you click finish you fail so now you go back and change your answers but one thing you need to do if you get a question then you don't know what it is i want you to guess the answer and move on do not put this question in your board 
because you're not gonna go back to it you didn't know it first you're not gonna go know it last guess it move on leave it alone because you don't want to be confused you don't get confused from your correct uh, uh, answers on your board with those that you don't know okay so you don't know it guess it and move on don't put it in your board you're not gonna go back to this answer leave it alone you will only go back to those that you 100 percent sure they write and you put it in your board and you're gonna go back and change them with this trick you can tell the computer to give you only easy questions and answer them right if you do that well for you to do that you have to be strong because stress can blow you out you might say oh man why i'm keep answering those questions oh i need to answer them right in the computer and then the next thing you you mess up everything so follow the trick the way i tell you to do it and trust me you will send me a comment and tell and thank me you know for giving you those information remember if you know anybody that's taking class in click laboratory saying remember to share to share this video remember ask them to like it ask them to subscribe because i'm going to keep uh, making those videos for you guys so that you have all the information you need when it comes to clinical laboratory scientists thank you for those of you who already subscribed thank you for those of you who put all those comments your thought i really appreciate it keep them coming bring your questions uh so we figure out i'll find a way to answer them and uh have a good day